Hello, my name is Josh, and today we're gonna to give you a communications overview here at the Raider Network. So today I'm gonna to give you a more technical overview of the intercom system here at the Raider Network. Um, let me just start back with kind of history like I've done on some of the other vid videos. Intercom systems, much like a lot of broadcast equipment, are not cheap. Uh, and so we started off with a little bit of everything. Uh, first, it started off with walkie-talkies and just straight-up phone calls. Um, that, no joke, we used walkie-talkies and phone calls in our first broadcast. It did not work well, but you got to do what you got to do for the money that you have. Uh, we moved on, so we went into an analog clearcom system. It was an MS-702 and an MS-704 with RM MS-702 fours. Uh, it's a remote station, main station, analog clearcom system. Um, that worked decent. It's a four channel system, so it's channel A, B, C, and D. Uh, it's meant to be able to use four different party line intercoms. Um, so we were able to talk to four different groups of people on belt packs. Uh, we used two of our channels for uh, IFB. So it wasn't a true IFB where uh, normally an IFB, for those who don't know, an IFB is the one uh, mix that goes into a uh, talent's earphone. Uh, and IFB is meant so when we talk to the talent, it's going to mute whatever they're listening to and they can hear us instead. So it's kind of an interrupt, is interruptible fullback uh, is what it stands for. So uh, the IFB was done just straight through uh, channel C and D on our analog system. It was mixed into our audio board and it was just part of their mix. It worked. Uh, it, don't get me wrong, it really did work. It was not the best, but it worked. Um, and we used that for several several years until we upgraded to what we have now, which is RTS Intercom's Odin system. Uh, it's a pretty new uh, intercom system, and it is, in my opinion, one of the best there is. So RTS Intercom is known for their uh, intercom systems. They are the Cadillac of intercom systems, and they really range from pretty low end to, to high end intercom systems. And there are a lot, there's a lot of different options that you can go for the, your size broadcast. Uh, what you're looking at right here is an RTS KP4016. This is the key panel for the intercom system. Much like a lot of broadcast equipment, there are uh, more of like a computer and a keyboard style uh, system. So we have a mainframe. It's called the frame, the RTS Odin frame. That's located back in our audio room. Uh, and then these key panels are the, the things that we actually physically use. Um, the frame's kind of the, what you would think of as the mixer or the guts of the, the intercom, the key panels are how, we gonna, how we're gonna actually use a headset and talk to people. So the RTS Odin intercom system comes in a lot of configurations. It comes in 16, 32, 64, and 128 ports. Uh, and it also comes with uh, inner frame linking to, remote, to link several Odins together. There's a lot of options with it. What we use it for, to scale things down a little bit for you. We have a 16 port Odin. What that means is we have 16 ports licensed to the Odin. We're actually looking at upgrading to the 32 port to gain more ports. Um, but overall, what that means is there's 16 physical ports as well as two two-wire ports, which are gonna be used for belt packs. Um, the physical ports are gonna be used for AIO, analog in and out for your key panels. It can also be used for really any analog in and out. It's just an analog signal. Uh, and then it also is equipped with their version of Dante. Uh, so if you have any Dante products, if your mixer is Dante, if you're running a computer with Dante with a phone line, there's a lot of options there. The Odin intercom system is equipped with Dante. So the way we use it, we have five key panels in our truck. Each key panel takes up a port. So our producer, director, uh, replay, graphics, and our audio guy all have key panels. And we all have different buttons that we can talk to each other on. So with any RTS system, you have a down, an up, a left, and a right. Down is gonna be talk, up is gonna be listen, and then left and right is your volume control for the each individual channel. You also have a main volume control, that's the volume of your actual headset. So you can control the volume of each individual person, and you control the volume of your whole entire headset. Uh, turns green for up, that's your listen, and red for talk, which is your talk. The intercom system is a fantastic intercom system. We do a lot with it, including IFB, so we can talk to our talent in one ear, and it's going to mute whatever they're listening to. It's going to put us in that ear. Um, we talk to our camera operators through a ClearCom wireless system. Um, that ClearCom wireless system is great. It works really well. Um, and then we also have 
uh, all the positions in the inside the trailer. We can add things like a replay review station, uh, belt packs on the outside of the trailer. There's a lot of options of flexibility with the Odin and the KP series uh, of key panels. Um, one more thing before we send off on this video. If you're looking at getting started with intercom systems, yes, they are a little pricey uh, and they get pretty complicated. So a few things. If you're looking at RTS intercom systems, go visit Rob Lipop on YouTube. He's a great guy. I've talked to him. He's helped me with a whole lot of different uh, integration stuff when it comes to RTS. He has a lot of videos out to help you understand AZ Edit, which is a which is the software that controls all of this. It is not the easiest software to understand, and, and he explains it very, very well. Um, and, and the other thing is, uh, if you're getting started and you're looking at Intercom, uh, I highly suggest looking into a thing called Unity Intercom. It is a cloud-based Intercom system. You can make your own cloud with a server on a Mac, or you can purchase the server license, which is a cloud-based thing that they host for you. Uh, it's not that expensive for uh, intercom system. It's $600 for the server, and then that comes with three license, uh, licenses, and you can buy more licenses on top of that. The intercom all runs off uh, Mac or, I believe, PC. I think it may only be Mac, but it can run off iOS as well, so you can have an app and all talk to each other. It is a great intercom system for getting started in churches and local places or wireless places where you don't want to be carrying around a wire so look into to unity intercom as well um, so that's kind of an overview on the rts odin and our intercom past and future and everything we use for intercom systems really thank you for watching and please subscribe to the channel